Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and the upstate New York or Elba, New York. I finally came up with a town that I liked and um, picked that to name this series. So welcome to Elba, New York. Um, this is Elba, New York and I was on Facebook Marketplace this morning looking for a something to do like a little utility vehicle for around the farm. So I was a bit originally looking for a quad, but then I stumbled across a very, very mint condition JCB Workmax. Um, it's an 800D, I believe, which is very powerful engine for a little machine. And it's an older guy selling it, so I'm hoping he's going to be a little bit soft and let me come on down on the price a little bit. So first things first, we're going to go look at this machine, and it is about 10 minutes away, so... We're gonna do a nice little montage of getting on down there, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Two or three kids thinking you for the eyes in a photo for the same four chords, playing that full road down window. Sitting four cold chords back in six more for that little old four turns off a back row. The same four guys, four down Friday nights, yeah, feeling just like forever. No, I couldn't see me. We are pulling up here to the whoa, we'll slow down to the farm. Um, all right, I think this is it right here. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, that thing looks brand spanking new. All right, let's pull around here and we'll get to uh, negotiating on this. Hey, I'm the guy from Facebook Marketplace. Yep, yep, I'm looking at this uh, this machine here. It's a very nice, very clean machine you got. Yep, yep. Uh, by any chance, do you know how many hours are on it? Alright, 41, all oh, that is so good. 41 hours for one of these? How'd you do that? It's so, oh wow. Yeah, yeah. So, 41 hours, alright. Um, I see that it does need some servicing. Um, not the best thing, but it looks in very good condition, and, um, I like the tires you have on it there. Very nice. Um, it does look really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, do you mind if I take it for a test drive? Alright, cool. Alright guys, so I really like this machine. It's really nice. It's 41 hours. It did not say that in the description. Oh wow, I think I'm gonna have to buy this. He wants six grand for it, so it's kind of expensive, but I mean, 41 hours, it almost, it, it makes up for it completely. What am I talking about? It makes up for it completely. 41 hours, you never find these things for 41 hours unless it's like, really like 2022 brand new something but you never find this good hours for an old piece of equipment so we're gonna bring this back i like the way it drives and i love the suspension let's test it out a little bit yeah i like it this machine is really nice i specifically was looking for a jcb because it just it handles like a boat but in some ways that's really good okay because it's heavy the suspension's not weak um like, I was going to get a John Deere originally, but I didn't like the way that only the front has some suspension, so, yeah. I like this. Full suspension, front and back. It's very nice. It can hold a lot more than a Deere can, at least at this stage of the engine. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this. I don't know what I'm doing. I have to pay for it. So, let's head on over to this guy and, uh, get him paid for it, so. All right, buddy, I really like the way it drives. Um, your price is a little too high for me. Would you go to five grand? Uh, 5,500. You know what? I could do 5,500. How's that? All right, thank you. So, we just got this work max. I brought him down $500, and uh, that's how you do negotiating right there. So, we're going to get this thing loaded up. He said I could borrow his trailer. And uh, bring this to the farm. I just have to bring it back to him by the end of the day. So that should be, that should all work out. Um, so we're going to get this thing on down to the farm. And I will meet up with you guys once we get there. Alright guys, we are back at the farm here. And we return the guy's trailer. And the work max is here. So, we are going to do an immediate test with this. And make sure that it can do what I want it to do. First thing, let me make sure I actually have what I want to test this thing with. Because if I don't, we'll just... Wait till the next episode to do this. But I was thinking of something, but then I realized I don't have that anymore. So, yeah. Um, I really like this machine. I got it for a great price. 
And, um, yeah, I'm really happy about this. So, this year, it's really going to hurt me to wreck all of this crap. I might actually find a way to maybe lease a uh, uh, cotton harvester for the, for, the, uh, for the day somehow. I don't know. Maybe for the week. I don't know. Maybe the dealership will do that. Hopefully, it will do that because I really just was thinking about that, and I really hate to throw out that much crap. So, this field over here, I am definitely just going to harvest, and it's going to be great. Um, these are going to be done very soon. These are going to be grew, fully grown very soon. And same thing with this cotton right here. Oh my god, we have to slow this machine down. Alright, brakes work. That is good. Probably should have checked that, but brakes do work. So, this field to the right, we are going to try and salvage it. Um, honestly, I hate cotton. I hate everything about it. But we're still going to try to harvest it this year. And uh, we just need to make sure that this harvester is running. That's the only thing that I have on the agenda for today. So, we're going to park up this work max here, and uh, it's not going to stay out here. It's just going to be here for a couple minutes. So, first things first, is we need to make sure this machine starts. I think it should start. <laughs>